1776 or bust uh, just want to do a couple of quick things and then I'll let you all go and live your happy lives on Valentine's Day uh, big shout out to Scott F brother I know it's only been a couple of days since you subscribe but I feel like we've known each other forever again totally appreciate the fact that Scott F has subbed to me thanks to uh, Coda boy recommending my channel so again shout out to Scott F shout out to Coda boy also, just want to give a quick shout out to a guy who's going to be sending me some clips for my Vetter holster. Uh, that would be, of course, Spec Op 4. Uh, totally appreciate it, man. Thanks for your support as well. And just, you know, generally speaking, thanks to everybody out there who subscribed to the channel and who asks great questions. Um, always gives great advice. I appreciate everybody. It's been a very positive experience. Again, I can't say that enough. This is a great community to be a part of. I, I can't complain. Uh, it's been awesome, you know. So I definitely appreciate everybody on Valentine's Day for, you know, checking my channel out. And again, check out Coda Boy, Spec Op 4, and sub to Scott F. As a matter of fact, I'm going to sub to Scott F tonight. Um, second thing I want to talk about. A lot of people have been asking about the TP9 SF Elite. So just to kind of give you a quick rundown, Friday I was contacted by Jacob Herman, who is their director of marketing. Uh, apparently he wanted to know what the deal was with the gun, so I emailed him uh, back. He gave me his contact info, so I emailed him with this le lengthy letter explaining what was going on and what the issues were. And he said back to me with an email that he would definitely look into it and personally look into it himself. And he did follow through, so I'm, I'm extremely excited about that. Um, I wish it didn't take so long to hear something, but you know, I really appreciate the fact that he did step up to the plate and he did help out quite a bit. So right now the the update on the Canic is that it, apparently it is was at the range. They were shooting it to see if it would pass whatever inspections they were doing on it. Again, I still don't know what happened to the gun. Hopefully I'll get some information when I get it back, but he did say that it would be coming back to me hopefully this week. Uh, today on the 14th is exactly six weeks since they've had it, so I'm hoping to have it by Friday. So we're going to see how that plays out. Again, I don't know what was wrong with it yet. As soon as I do, I'll let you know. I'll do a tabletop of it and kind of go through the gun one more time. So I'm very excited to be getting that gun back. Uh, like I said, it's a great shooting pistol. Just had some little problems with it that I hope are fixed now because that, to me, would, would say a lot. And I do appreciate Jacob stepping up and helping me out with that. So thanks, Jacob. Appreciate it. Century Arms, let's see what happens. And hopefully we can repair the burnt bridges, so to speak. But again, appreciate everybody out there. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your Valentine's Day. Uh, again, as soon as I know what's going on with the Elite, I'll let you know and, and fill you in on all that. And of course, big shout out to Scott F. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Have a, a wonderful Valentine's Day with your loved one. And uh, as always, freedom is never free.